Philippe has got it. The complete package on display today. Ala Philippe in victory. C'est une victoire qui vient de loin, en nombre de kilomètres, mais aussi, ça faisait longtemps. C'est -ce ouais, une victoire qui fait énormément du bien, une victoire importante pour moi. Et, ouais, je pense à, à ma femme, à mon fils, qui m'ont beaucoup soutenu euh, ces derniers temps et depuis toujours. Et aussi merci à, à toute mon équipe qui a aujourd'hui super super bien contrôlé le début de l'étape. Je leur avais dit que c'était une étape euh, que j'avais cochée. Et, Ouais, je suis vraiment content d'être arrivé. Merci. Today, having done the first hour very fast, what do you think of the victory of uh, Julian Alaphilippe? Yeah, uh, today uh, it was a very fast day and uh, Alaphilippe showed uh, that uh, he's, uh, he's back and uh, yeah, he was trying a lot of days now and, and today was actually incredible what he did and uh, yeah, chapeau, chapeau to, to Lulu today, he did an uh, amazing victory. Yeah. Is it uh, what uh, champions do? Yeah, this is what champions do, yeah, ride like this, I think uh, yeah, not, not a lot of riders is capable of doing and uh, he proved that he's one of the best in the world, yeah. About Van Poppel, and it's Milan now. Milan opens up, but Malia can he hold him off? Milan with a charge, Milan with a win, Milan with a win. The Malia Ciclamino doubles up. Stage 12 and a really interesting day's racing ahead of the peloton. A series of categorized and uncategorized climbs over 193 kilometers from Martin Sicoro to a finish in Marque on the coast in Fano. Tadej Pogacar with a race to defend and the expectation that a breakaway would make it to the line. And that meant on the first 55 kilometers of the race, which were flat and along the coast and blown on by another day of strong tailwinds, that the attacking was fast and furious and it took a long time for a breakaway to establish itself. In fact, it wasn't until the race had already ticked off the first 55 kilometers and the climbs began that the definitive breakaway of the day, and it would be huge, started to get clear. Continually, groups of three or four riders animated the front of the race, but on the first uncategorized climb of the day, it was Julian Alaphilippe of Sudal Quickstep taking riders with him, including Jonathan Navaez, who went clear, eventually prizing a huge breakaway group of 36 riders, which ebbed and flowed, splintered and reformed, but eventually created a massive breakaway at the front of the race. Too big, in fact, for Julian Alaphilippe and Mirko Maestri. Those two riders, with 125 kilometers remaining, clipped off the front and started between them to build up a lead and scooped up all the intermediate sprints and king of the mountains. Categorized and uncategorized, the two riders were off the front of the race and putting pressure on the various different chase groups that formed and reformed behind them. Jan Hirt of Sudal Quickstep was also up the road and forcing Bahrain Victorious to chase behind in the peloton because he was a threat to the top 10 on GC. But at the front of the race, Julian Alaphilippe and Mirko Maestri were in the hunt for the stage victory. 
The climb to Monsano was the second cat categorised climb of the day and they had over a, set, over a minute's advantage to a chase group that eventually settled down to nine good riders, including Jonathan Navarez. Then at the Inter Giro, in Ripe, Mirko Maestri led Julian Alaphilippe just as he did over the final categorised climb of the day at La Croce. Still working together as they headed to Mondolfo on the final bonus sprint of the day with 30 kilometres remaining. And an advantage on the flat approach to the last uncategorised climb of Monte Giove, which was being chipped away at a group of nine riders, including Navarez, trying to bring the two riders at the front of the race back so that they could ride across an attack. On the final uncategorised climb then, Julian Alaphilippe left Mirko Maestri and behind Michael Valgren and Jonathan Navarez as well as Kunted Hermans and Christian Scaroni attacked the rest of the chase group. Julian Alaphilippe then, within the final six kilometres, had over 30 seconds advantage over Hermans and Navarez. And one of the most special victories of his career, a double world champion, a monument winner and has shown, a, well, a pair of heels to the rest of this race. He's not just outclassed them, outboxed them, he's outridden them. Absolutely spectacular, wonderful, chapeau. 500 metres to go, he's going to love this bit. Let the celebrations begin. Julian Alaphilippe is back. He said as much, he said there's more to come when he was beaten the other day into second place. And he has proven his point. He completes the set of Grand Tour stage wins. A winner at the Vuelta, a winner of multiple stages at the Tour de France. A former Mayo Jeune, a double world champion. And now the winner of stage 12 of the Giro d'Italia. A race of skill, brains, brawn, panache, style, you name it, Alaphilippe has got it. The complete package on display today. Thank you.